Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and in this video we have another product review for you. This time we're going to be reviewing the current USA LED strip light for an aquarium. It's a great light at a fair price. We're going to tell you more about it, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do a lot of videos just like this, product reviews. We do videos on water filtration, water chemistry, fish room, fish store tours, species profiles with 65 fish tanks at our fish room. We've always got something going on. So we recently had a light go out on one of our 20 longs and we needed a new light. As I was searching for options, I saw that Current USA has a strip LED light for fish tanks. Now, if you're not familiar with Current USA, they've got some really cool products, often at Aquashella or Aquatic Experience. Those tanks that are set up there are some of my favorites. And so you can see here, this is the Current USA tank that was set up at Aquashella this year in Chicago. Very cool, so they're known for some of these really interesting lights that change colors. Here, I didn't necessarily need that because our tanks are painted anyway, but I did need a new light, so I figured let's go ahead and give this one a try. So you can see this tank right now, the light is not doing what it's supposed to do. It's been like this for a couple weeks. I need the plants to get a little bit more light than what we're seeing here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this Current USA LED and see what we're getting. All right, so let's take a little closer look at the specs. Here is the Current USA light. This is a 24 inch to 30 inch light. It's got these expandable legs. I like these a lot compared to some of the other lights at their price point. Metal, very sturdy. The body is also very robust. Uh, it is a 6500K light, and it has 66 white lights and 24 blue ones. Now, what's also cool about this light is it has a little, hold on a second, it's got this little switch here, and there's a number of modes that you can do. So you can turn on the blues, you can turn on the whites, there is a, uh, a dusk effect to the light, so kind of like a dimming effect. There's also a lightning uh, effect to that as well. There's one where you can make it cloudy, so periodically the lights kind of dim a little bit. Now that's not necessarily something that I would use. I run my lights on a timer. I just want the things to work, and so that's kind of what we're looking for. And when it comes to a light like this, now price point, again, you're right around $55. So you're right in there at the same price point as the Phoenix lights. By the way, I've done videos on the Phoenix Stingray too. I'll put that in the upper right-hand corner as well as in the description below. So you can check that out, maybe get some other ideas. But let's go ahead. We're going to put this on the fish tank. We're going to see what it looks like. We'll check out those modes and give you my final thought. All right, so this is one of the features that this light offers. It's kind of like the lightning strike, thunderstorm sort of feature. Again, I'm not so sure I would probably use this thing other than a gimmick. Uh, it, it's, I, I probably would think it would stress the fish out more than be of any real value. There are different modes uh, that, that can be done here. And so you can see I'm pressing through the mode button right now and it does change the overall feel. Uh, we can go with various shades, which is nice too. So here we've got the white light and what I like about it is as you press this mode, you can see I'm pressing the mode button and it's getting dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Now we've just got the blue lights going. So that's kind of cool. It does have that dimming feature. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the full white mode that you can see here. By the way, this is a tank full of a Pistogramma Panduro, one of my favorite pistols. Really cool. Now here I'm adjusting the blue lights and you can see we're getting yellow and then we've got full blue. And then as I press this, the tank looks a little bit more yellow because of the white light only. Uh, I think I like them just like this where they are both maxed out. I'm going to go ahead and press to the mode button and you can see here there are a number of modes and quite frankly I don't know which ones are which right now but you can see I pressed it once and we've got this twice and it goes to kind of a, a dark almost dusk like feel. So if you're into that sort of thing and you want to have a darker feel to the tank before you go to bed maybe leave the lights on a little bit this could be useful if your fish are breeding and they're trying to protect eggs and maybe you've got other fish in the tank or we've got plecos or something just to allow them to see threats that can be sometimes a useful feature uh, here i've pressed it again and you can see here we've got you know more white light coming through uh, it looks like this might be the cloudy feature because it is varying just a little bit. Again, I think if I were looking at this tank long term, it was in my living room or something, I probably would just like the consistent lights. Here we have yet another feature. And you can see we've just kind of gone through the modes. Here's our lightning strike again. And blue light only. And so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make sure that this thing is all the way up. And now this is all the way off. So blue's all the way on, white's all the way on. I, I just like this. So this is why I bought this light. I think for the most part, it will do well with low light plants, uh, but we'll have to see. 
Now, if you're interested in purchasing this light, I will put an affiliate link down in the description below. All right, so let's wrap it up. I think the light is, appears to be high quality. The housing appears to be high quality. The legs appear to be high quality. The cord is like a six foot cord, so it's very long. The one thing I don't like about the cord is the plug. It's elongated to the fact where you can't plug things in next to it. I don't know why companies do this. It drives me absolutely insane. But now I have to put it on the end of a power strip because it's sticking out to the side. I don't like that at all, but it's a minor inconvenience. And if it's not something you're worried about, it won't matter. In terms of the features, I really like the fact that you can dim both the white and the blue lights. I think that's very useful. I like the fact that you have a night mode that you can use if that's something you wanna do. I think a lot of the other modes are kind of gimmicky. And so for instance, the lightning strike thing, I think that would stress fish out more than anything else. Uh, the cloudy effect, that might be kind of cool, but it, it's just something, it's a personal preference thing. And so if, if that's something that you want, then this might be a light to consider. Price point, once again, it's right in there with the Phoenix Stingray 2s. I would probably check that out as well, just so you have a comparison. In regard to growing low light plants, I think it's gonna work just fine. So in our fish tank, we've got Anubias, we've got Crips. I think it will grow Java Fern, Java Moss, Hornwort relatively well. If you've got something medium to highlight, it's only a 10 watt fixture, so I don't think that's gonna be sufficient, but if you're low lights or no lights, that is not going to be an issue. It looks like it illuminated the tank fairly well. I think it's gonna do a good job. We will do an update video when we've had more experience with it, talk a little bit more about the quality. So if you enjoyed this video, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.